What a lovely sandy beach you've painted. Would you be willing to give it away for the opportunity to learn? This is splendid. It will be the prized piece of my sitting room. Now, here's how to make twine. Line the plants underfoot.
Ahoy there, traveller! Alas, those carrot chompers are still at it. Seems the mice are trapped inside my new fence. Odd though, they never leave so much as a stem behind. Hungry little creatures, aren't they? Why don't you stop by K and K Apothecary? Kai and Kaylin should have some repellent that'll send any critters bolting. They live west of here, along the riverbank on the south side of the Blush Woods. See you soon! Beautiful place to come and think, wouldn't you say? My husband liked to come out here and fish. We spent many nights camping here in the Blushwood. But now old Pops is doing his best to tarnish my fond memories. Grandfather, goodness no, Traveler. Old Pops is a fish, the biggest fish in the lake. What didn't he do? This fish has haunted my dreams for, oh, what seems like ages. Old Pops, that evil fish. He has it out for me, I'll have you know. I was out on the boat with my husband, Farid, an anniversary camping trip, when old Pops leaps out of the water and snatches my wedding ring right off of my finger. It's not the first time he's pulled something like this. He's taking glowstones and bracelets. Uh, sneakiest thief on the islands, that fish is. Well, some of those folks might be trying to cover up the fact they misplaced their precious items. It's easy to blame it on a fish. But he really did eat my ring. People round here talk about old Pops like he's some sort of magical fish with healing properties or some nonsense. They say when you stare old Pops straight in the eye, he conjures an image of what you want most in this world and makes that thing seem real to you, as real as day. Say, what would old Pops make you think of? What do you treasure most? Adventure? Painting? I 
recommend you do some soul searching, some reflecting while you're in this place. There's no better place than this patch of the blushwood for thinking of your life and why it is you're in this world. Too many folk just go on through life without thinking upon the why. That's enough reflecting for the time being. You and I, people of action. I don't suppose you'd be willing to help me get my wedding ring back. Of course, of course. He's a big old fish, but you're strong. Will you get that ring for me? Excellent, excellent. Old pups, better watch out. Our new traveler friend is a coming for you. You got a fishing pole? You're not going to be catching old pups without one. Maybe not even with one, that floundering foe. No doubtin' you could find one in Nava if you've got some glowstones to spare. I don't know too much about him, other than he's a big one. Bettin' he's a sandfish by the size of him. You stay careful round old Pops, you hear? He has it out for us, especially boaters and fisher folk. Stop taking Finn's crops. It's not like I enjoy it either, but what choice do we have? We haven't made a single sale in weeks. How is that even possible? It's just... Oh, that poor sweet man. Criminy! You shouldn't barge in on someone like that. How much did you hear? Don't know if I can trust you. No one's buying herbs like they used to. You understand? You do? Oh, good! <laughs> you never know who you can trust. Times have been hard since Kaelin's father stopped supporting us. We thought we could make it on our own, but... Uh, well, truth is, no one seems to have much use for an apothecary. <laughs> Not out in these parts, anyway. I don't right know where everyone's getting their goods. Maybe it's time we moved on from East Shade and found ourselves a place where we can make a proper living. Actually, there may be something you could help us with. One last try to make it here before we call it quits. Will you help us? You'll help us? Oh, this will mean so much to Kaelin. Have you met Annika? I'm willing to bet she'd help out. But Galen's always saying Annika has a generous soul. Um, even if she isn't all there upstairs. She lives in the southwest of the Great Shade.
Somehow, people around here came to knowing she has more glowstones than many of the rest of us. I'm guessing she doesn't spend too much. Too preoccupied with, uh, other things. Just see if you can borrow 600 glowstones. Ah, we've got nothing to lose, I suppose. Just need to find a way off this aisle if we can't get out of this hole we're in soon. Ah, anyhow, if she needs convincing, just tell her it's anyone besides us asking. Go, give it your best. Like us. We never wanted to steal from Finn, you know. I would have done anything else if I could. I... I'm horrified by what we've done to such a sweet old man. a pot this morning and you know what I don't even mind today's just my day of course it wouldn't be a bird identification issue by any chance Darn, I love a good bird ID well tell me what you need in glowstones for you need me to give you glowstones so you can help a friend and tell me what's the name of this friend Right, of course. And where on the island might I find this person? I see, I see. Uh, unfortunately, I cannot help you help your friend. Financial troubles north of here? No doubt you've been spending time with Kai and Kaylin.
Kaylin's a sweetheart, but that Kai, a weasel if I ever heard of one. But you're new to me, Shane. Lots of people didn't like back when Kai was overcharging for potions. Not that it bothered me so much, but he sure upset a lot of other people. He steals from owls, of course, the most magnificent of all creatures. You see, owls love rubbing their beaks against the soft part of the black thistle. It comforts them. And Kai simply waltzed into the great shade and snatched black thistle, an endangered plant, I'll have you know, and stuck it into some potion to sell. Kai is no friend to owls. Who would do something so terrible? It was no misunderstanding. If anyone ought to know better, it'd be Kai. He deals with plants all day, after all. And whatever you do, don't pick the black thistle. Bye now. What? You painted that owl? Uh, can I buy it from you? <laughs> this is great! Is this too many glowstones? I wouldn't know. I've never bought a painting before. You've got a real ear for birds. Let me know if you ever need anything. Bye now. You spoke to Annika already? What did she say? How did you know? You told her it was me asking? But what do you mean, endangered plant? Oh, is that why people stopped coming around? But why would anyone believe I used something that's protected? I mean, I like plants as much as the next shade folk, but I'd never touch a protected plant, I swear! What? My Hydra Thistle! Huh. Well, now that I think about it, I guess I could see why people got that idea, but oh, criminy! Why didn't anyone just ask me about it? This is why we've been broke all these years! No, of course not. Far too risky to use those protected bits of foliage. That's a game I don't mess around with. Look, you haven't seen the best of us, but we've got a lot to offer if we just had a chance. Can you help us? Here's my Hydra Thistle. Find someone to test it, like a scientist. Help me prove I didn't use any protected plants. Nava will certainly have someone who can figure that out. Check the offices on the third floor of the common quarter. Please hurry. We can't survive much longer without any customers.
finally arrived. Would you like some tea or maybe some pie? Don't be shy now. My name is known to all as Mud Willow. My passion is sight and all that it shows. Weaver of light and doctor of eyes. I hold the gift reserved for the wise. With me lies the gift which everyone seeks. So far, you've all been liars and sneaks. Sought out by foe and drunkards unfit, not one of you has held nearly enough wit. They all bumble in, dreaming of crimes. Every day they show up, it's a waste of my time. But the strings of light you folded and bent prove you've got brains to some extent. It seems you may just be clever enough, although I'd bet your brain is packed full of fluff. But listen up, painter, for this is your task. Prepare your brushes and hear what I ask. Itself in a constant state of falling, to you it seems that it's always stalling. A stony side where the star hides away, a watchful eye at the peak of midday. When day turns dark, but a moment in time, when a star goes black, Though everything's fine, the largest of eyes that stare back at you, a sight that aligns, that's the moment I choose. Ah, here is something unexpected. I thought my riddle went neglected. The glowing sun confines me to mud, but this, it puts life in my blood. It's yours, most valuable thing I own. A trade for the clever wit you've shown. This brew's the only one of its kind, and its powers need a solid mind. Drink slow, once a day, your eyes will grow clear. Just a sip, and treasures will glow when you're near. Sip up, see well, but exercise care. This sight drains your spirit, till none can you spare. I devote myself to studying eyes, and I've seen plenty brimming with lies. 
But perhaps you're different in the end. Best wishes to you, my clever friend. Ho! The great traveller returns! Were you able to get some repellent? Oh well. Can't win them all, I guess. Who knows? Maybe my big ugly mug will scare the little creatures away. On guard! Hooey! Special veggie stew coming right up! See you soon!
well. Your clothes are looking a little scrappy. Bet you're just about to freeze to death come nightfall. If you're ever looking to upgrade your attire, I'm sure I have just the thing. Have you given any thought to sharing your portfolio with us? Wow, your work is so detailed. You should show this to Yevany. She lives in the common tower. That's the big round building in the middle. You might just be the painter we need. Anything I can help with? Need some supplies? Just a touch of orange. Oh, hello there. Uh, I must have left the door unlocked again. Can I help you? All right, all right. Let's see what you've got. Well, these look fantastic. So much detail and what accurate depictions. You've got some skill here. I spent years honing my skill, sharing my work with the people of Nava, but these days I'm no longer interested in realism. I love the life of flowing through abstract art. Unfortunately, there's not much interest for that style right now. I know it's hard to understand. You realists are also focused on accuracy of sight, that you miss the accuracy of the heart. Anyway, I won't try to convince you. Anyway, your portfolio is exactly the kind of thing my customers love. How about this? I'm going to shut down my commissions. They've been leaving me uninspired this past year anyway. I'll pass on any new requests to you. Then I can really focus my time on these spots and blobs. Okay, I'll tell Art Dealer the situation. Our customers write down their requests in a ledger back in the gallery. Take a look through and see if there are any requests you'd like to paint. working here in the university, even though my senior professor Esma can be a bit eccentric at times. You want me to check for trace elements of endangered plants? I enjoy running tests. Just give me the potion in a few minutes. Seems you're in luck. No trace of any endangered or illegal substances in here. Here's the full report. Come back if you have anything else for me to test. Oh, it's going to be another late night, that's for sure. 
How's the hot spring sample collecting going? Managed to impress the great Yevany. I thought you might. Your work is excellent and just the style our clients are looking for. We've got a whole bunch of commissions just waiting around. We keep them all in a ledger at the back. Take a look and see if you're up for any of them. When you finish a commission, just bring it back to me. I'll ensure you get paid and that the client gets the artwork. We're glad to have you join the gallery. Welcome back! We've got plenty more patrons interested in your work. It's a solid composition. day. Thank you. 
Please tell me you had that Hydra Thistle tested. Galen's been talking about packing her bags. Heck, she may have packed a few already. <laughs> She's been so upset. <sighs> Dunno where she thinks we'd even go with no glowstones to our name. Oh, for the great shade. Next time tell a man all's well. Don't just hand over a report. Oh, you made my heart right jump out of my skin. But thank you. Thank you. I have to tell Kaylin the good news. And the paper! Great gods! The paper! Oh, I need to let all of Eastshade know that I'm someone to be trusted. Thank you. I'm... I'm sorry. I'm just not feeling like myself at the moment. I mean, what kind of people are we? What have we become? Oh, what a lovely woman! Don't listen to what my husband says about her. I haven't made it to Southland in some time. How is Annika doing? Glad to hear it. And does she seem in need of any tinctures or potions? Sorry, this is not the time. Uh, was she able to offer us anything?
Oh, you found my amulet. I thought I lost it for good. I'll say. This is a key to my organization, The Roots. We're committed to the proper use of dream teas. The proper use being... to use them. We get our fair share of trouble from the Shez. They think tea should only be used for sacrifice. That's why we have to be so careful. Well, yeah, the Shez are always harassing us about it. They're upset because we use the holy tea instead of leaving it to get moldy like they do. They have plenty of their own tea to sacrifice, but they want to rescue ours specifically. You should hear the crazy plots they come up with to steal from us. Maybe don't mention any of this to them. You seem like an honest person, though. If you want to give it a try, come visit us. Our meeting place is kind of hidden away. Not everyone in Nava understands Dream Teas, you know? The door is on the outer wall of the city, facing toward the sea. Take the underground tunnel starting near the bread stand in Nava. There is a walkway that leads right to the entrance. These amulets are a ticket inside, but you just tell the person behind the door that the password is Dreamland, and I'll make sure you get in. I'll see you there sometime. Thanks again for finding my amulet.
guess the password. Come on in then. Welcome, friend. We haven't seen you here before. The Shez insist that the Dream Teas should be sacrificed to TM, their goddess. They grow the teas, care for them, then leave the plants to waste. That's fine for them, but now they want to confiscate all of our tea too. We're a very old community of people with a passion for exploration of the mind. Our practices have been dying out due to criticism from other religions. The founders of the Roots believed that dream teas were given to us by the goddesses as a way to visit the other worlds they've created. <laughs> Certainly not, but it's a romantic story nonetheless. Would you like to select a tea? Each blend has its own properties with different effects. Please, select a tea and step into a boat to enjoy an exciting dream. We only ask that you do not leave with the teas in your possession. This is the best place to use them. Sleep well. Farewell.
again. It's nice to see a familiar face. We don't get too many visitors out here. What? Really? A tree door? Let's go see it. Hmm, you're sure it was here? Well, they seem to have left no trace. And the door and the tree? I believe you. I've been hearing those drums for too long. Something mysterious is afoot. Whatever they're doing, it's clear they don't wish to be discovered. I think you should ask around in Nava. Maybe there's someone who knows more about these Blushwood Night Drummers. All this investigating has made me thirsty. I think it's quite time for a Lindauian brew. Let me know if you find out more. Come on by any time.
Welcome to the inn below the tarnished teapot. Hmm, correct. That is the name. We once had another name, but everyone just called us that inn below the tarnished teapot. I don't really blame them. This place is a bit of a dump. The manager has really let it go. Me. It's cold and damp. Tiny windows. Smells a little stale. At least the front door's nice and big. That's a plus, I suppose. Huh? Sounds hard. I used to live on the mainland years ago, working as a bricklayer. Was terrible. Hated every minute. Then my grandma died, bless her soul, and left me a son. Quit my job that day and got the first ship here. For no reason in particular. Just wanted to leave. Bought this dumpy floor for dirt cheap. Didn't really know what I was doing. Now this city's a boom town, and I'm living off the reverse mortgage. Just goes to show, act impulsively, and sometimes you get rich. That's what I've learned anyway. Oh, and have some inheritance. It's kind of like a club. People go under the city to drink dream teas, relax, unwind. It used to be open for everyone, but it's pretty locked down now. Some folks have been trying to destroy or steal their tea plants, so they had to get real protective. There was a dream party out on the Salt Spring coast a few nights ago. Who knows? Maybe you can make the right connections and get a chance to try some. You sure? We have rats. If you really want, first door on your left. Thank you. 